Hello friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're taking a first look impressions video for a mobile MOBA called Heroes Evolved. Now the interesting thing about this game is about a week or two ago, I made a video of the top 10 MOBAs that people should be playing and I included three mobile games on there. Mobile Legends, Arena of Valor, and I believe the last one was Vainglory. However, since posting that video, I actually had a lot of you guys tell me like, hey, why isn't Heroes Evolved on that list? And I was like, what? I I've never even heard of Heroes Evolved. So I decided to go and check it out. Interesting e interestingly enough, the game had 5 million downloads on the Google Play Store. And I was like, wow, like this game has a lot of people playing it. Now, looking at the game right now, this is pulled up, yes, and that is in fact Bruce Lee as one of the characters you can play in the game. You'll notice that I've got black bars on the top and on the bottom of the video. And the reason for that is I'm actually playing on a Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 and this game actually scales to fit the entire screen without cutting anything off Now I've tried to go find resolution options and things like that to change it back So it fits in that sort of you know the not the 16 by 9 or whatever the weird the 18 by 9 aspect ratio All that stuff, but unfortunately I wasn't actually able to find it now It may look weird for the video, but for my phone it looks fantastic now with other mobile MOBAs that I've played like Arena of Valor as well as Mobile Legends, if I ever click the option to stretch it out to my entire game, it will cut off uh, the top and the bottom as well as some of the corner areas. However, this one just automatically scales and everything fits perfectly, which makes this game an absolute blast to play on a, you know, on a Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, I'm gonna go through and show you some of the different things that the game has to offer. Now, this is a first impressions. I'm definitely not super far into the game. I don't know everything about the game. However, there are some things I do want to talk to you guys about that I like about the game and other things that I don't personally like about this game. So the first thing I want to talk about actually is one of the things I don't particularly like that the game does. However, it's more of a nitpick thing for me. If you click on here, you can see all the different heroes. There are a lot of heroes and the game does uh, give you the chance to unlock a lot of them, buy them, all that stuff, just like in other basic MOBAs. However, when clicking on a hero, it only shows the art for that hero. It doesn't show like the 3D modeling that you see in the game, like in other MOBAs where the character will actually show up, you can see what they look like, you can spin around. For this one, it just shows the art of what the character is going to look like. Now, to give you kind of an example, this is the newest character to the game. Taking a look at this guy, he looks pretty bad A. Nazar is his character. Now, he has, you can't really tell, but he has like a long brush as his weapon. Now, when I jumped into the game, the character did not look anything like the way that I thought he would, and it actually kind of disappointed me. I, I hope maybe in the future that they'll change that where you can actually see some of the 3D models for the characters. I don't, th there might be a way now. I don't know entirely, but. I'm not the biggest fan of them showing the art over the 3D models, however the art is fantastic and I definitely think it does look really really nice. Um, other things I kind of want to let you guys know about just as a warning, when I installed this game my anti-malware, um, anti-virus software on my phone actually said that this was going to be a threat. That it was installed through unknown sources, all this weird stuff kept popping up. So I went ahead and ignored it because this is a verified app on the App Store. 5 million people have played it. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it, but just to give you guys kind of a heads up. As well as the game constantly is telling you about stuff that's going on. I get notifications all the time on free gold bonuses, upcoming heroes. There's a lot of stuff that this game has to offer. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. They just released a couple of new skins. The Magicka's Deadly Blossom, as well as the Zhang Phase Orc Warlord skin. Um, they also have, let's take a look. Here's the new skin. See, I, I like the look of this skin. It looked like the art itself looks really good, but the fact that I can't see what the 3D model looks like actually kind of bums me out a little bit. Um, they've got stuff, they've got their promos up here where you can get different discounts and deals based on certain things that you wanna buy. Now, Pandora's box is interesting. So essentially, if I remember right, you open it up and it'll give you a random discount. And I think the, or maybe this is something, maybe it's the Lucky Wheel or Seeker Shop, but this one, you it's kind of like a loot box system. You open it up, you can get a bunch of different, you know, you can get skins and prizes, um, essences to unlock skins, things like that. The Lucky Wheel, I don't think I've got one for free. I don't think I can even use one right now. I got no lucky points to spend anyway. But you've seen those things in other mobile MOBAs. It's pretty generic. The Secret Shop, uh, I can't remember. There was one specifically that was kind of interesting where you could actually go and buy... Uh, it might it might be over now and if you guys know just let me know about down below if you remember But like it gave you like a percentage discount off of it You can also get uh, heroes and skins unlocked by getting fragments 
These are a lot of basic things you guys know that are in other mobile MOBA games. They do have this jewel system, which is based off their glyph system, which is a really interesting uh, take on the whole like rune system in games. So essentially you've got three different ones. You've got the red, blue, and green gems, which all relate to like, I believe attack, mana, and stamina, things like that. And what you do is you actually will equip different gems into these different slots. As long as you have the max amount of gems in the slot, you can actually get a specific glyph in the center that will give you minor bonuses. So for example, this one gives me, uh, I receive 10% of the remaining mana after killing troops or jungle minions. This one that I've got equipped, increase 35% effect on health and mana runes, which is like if I have any of these that are equipped, I don't think I've got, I think it's in the green one. Uh, yeah, so I get bonuses to these, the ones that give me health and stuff. Uh, so you can see like I've got plus 7.96 right there. You can actually swap these things out. This one says you get plus 200 starting coins. So if I wanted, I, you know, if I was playing as a support, I might want that one just so I can have more uh, coin to play with. Uh, they have recommended jewelries that you can pick for specific characters that you like. You can go out and you can buy some with just gold. You can also spend some of their currency, their gems, in order to unlock it. That you, I believe you unlock those through just loot boxes and things like that. Um, I'm trying to think, of, they have the social tabs, achievements that will give you, that will grant you different, you know, gold and different uh, hero shards, or different shards that you can unlock as well. As well as cool little icons. Um, let's see, so I can share that if I wanted to. A style icon. I don't know if it'll actually let me unlock unlock one skin. So different little achievements that you can eventually end up unlocking the game, as well as an inventory system. Now I've got a lot of free trial cards. This game has definitely given me a whole ton. Now if I remember right, um, use this to get crystal for free for one day. Yeah. So I've got a lot right now, and I've also got a hero. Use this card to purchase any hero for free, not usable for any event heroes or new heroes. I actually worked up enough gold to buy the newest hero. It didn't take me that long. I'm only level eight. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. They've got um, events that go on, ranked, quick start, PVP. You can make custom games. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything. You can make clans. I'm trying to remember what the guidance system is. Um, they, oh, it's your daily quests, monthly quests, monthly logins, things like that. Now the game actually does have me going through a basic tutorial right now and actually wants me to play my first ranked game, which I haven't played just yet. So I'm a little nervous to actually play it. Um, let me go through and show you some of the cool heroes that the game has before we actually jump into it. So this is one of the newest ones, obviously Bruce Lee. And if you've ever seen the trailer for it, <laughs> his voice is really, really bad. Um, the newest hero, like I uh, showed you guys before, is actually this guy, Nazar. He's got a cool Halloween skin that just came out. Um, some of the other noteworthy heroes, they've got obviously Sun Wukong, who's like, I swear, in every single MOBA game. Um, I know I saw one that I thought was really, really cool, and I think it's this guy, Electros. He is definitely a really, really cool looking champion. Um, but yet again, that whole problem with the fact that I can't see the 3D models always kind of, kind of bums me out. Uh, now the characters I've actually played on this game is this guy right here. He's one of my favorites. I really like Penguin, and that's the character that we're going to jump in and play as. I'm just going to do a quick start match. I'm actually not going to play the ranked game mode. Um, so we'll just jump in. We'll play as Penguin is his name. He has some long range uh, nuking abilities. You've also got different bonuses. If you buy diamonds, you can get an exclusive hero, and that is Mulan. There's a lot of cool stuff that this game has to offer. I Some of the highlights of this game is the fact that it is a very well polished game. I love the fact that it stretched out to the perfect aspect ratio that I needed. However, my biggest complaint with the game so far without, you know, not talking about gameplay specifically, is the fact that you only see those 2D art models for the characters and you can't see their 3D models. Now, once we get into the game, there's actually something that I like, but at the same time, other MOBA games have kind of gotten rid of have kind of dumbed down a little bit. We'll go ahead and select this. You can pick your combat glyphs. I've got my first one set up. I don't even know if it really works well. You've got different gear bindings. Here's one of the other things I have a problem with. Looking at this, you can tell there's different items in each of the gear binds, but you can't really tell what those builds are for. I can't, I don't know if you can actually edit the words or the names of each build. I haven't been able to actually see anything. So I don't know if this is a jungle build, a burst damage build or anything like that. So it kind of stinks. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to be playing against a Vince, a Solus, Apollo, Bomb Bomb, and a Penguin. Oh, that's actually on our team. We actually have someone that has a gold border. So I'm assuming they're probably maybe a little bit better. <laughs> so we'll jump in. We'll play the game. Also, as far as I'm aware, there aren't different North America, Chinese, 
East, uh, Southeast Asia servers. I believe there's one server that everyone plays on depending on, and then it just connects you to those people that have like the best connection to you, different things like that. So we're about to jump into the game. There's something really cool about this game. You'll see it right off the bat right here is the fact that the game actually gives you four skills to, to build up on. So in other MOBAs that I've played, specific Mobile Legends and Arena of Valor, is your passive bonus just automatically scales up with you as you level up. But within this game, you actually have to upgrade it at specific times in the match. So you may, you know, you may be going through the entire match all the way up to like level 15 um, and still not, or I don't know what the level is, but you might have waited a little bit before actually, um, Ooh, did I get him? Before actually upgrading your passive ability. I like that because it adds a little bit more of um, of a challenge, a more of a... Ooh, hold on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time I'm trying to play this game as well. Uh, it gives you a little bit more of a challenge and um, customization as you're playing your character. Now, another thing I really like is every single character has teleport, healing, and you can place down... Um, Award, so I can just go ahead and place a ward right down there and it has a 75% cooldown You don't have to buy an item to use that It just every single character automatically has those and I really really like that um, They've kind of like, you know narrowed down oh. oh, sh Quiet lady it kind of you know Slimmed down that kind of ward item system like that and I really appreciate that. I think it's a really good idea Now one thing it's, it's a small gripe of mine, but the teleport function, even though I, I really do like it, I think it's a great um, a great ability to have, to be able to... Oh, our teammate's gonna, probably going to die here. I should probably back up. Yeah, I'm going to... I was almost close to death. This, I can show you the teleport function right now. You hit teleport, it brings up your map, and you actually have to click on where you want to teleport. You don't just hit it and it automatically takes you back to base. You actually have to click on it, and then you can actually pick which area. So if I wanted to go to like the mid tower or the bottom right tower really fast, I can actually use the teleport. I like that. I think it's good. It's just it was a little. It felt a little weird for me the first time I jumped into the game because I was used to just hitting teleport and it sending me straight back to base. So be wary of that. Also for you MOBA veterans, you might have noticed something a little off about the map. There are no grass or bush areas. You can't hide. There's no like bushes to hide in. Now, I don't know how I particularly feel about that. It's, it, to me, it's not something that's necessarily I have to have, but it was definitely something that was something I had to really get used to. Um, they kind of change it a little bit with uh, the fact that there's a lot of shadows where you're going. Back those guys up. Um, but if you're used to using the bushes, then get ready to be a little disappointed because it's definitely kind of a weird experience not having bushes there. But it's good because, you know, somebody's not just going to sit in the bushes like that and try to, you know, gank you. Let's put, a, let's put a ward right there. Just kind of keep an eye on the enemies. Make sure no one ganks us. Now, the shadows in this game, the uh, the fog of war, seems extremely prominent. And I'm not sure exactly why that is. It just feels really prominent to me. I haven't really played any of the jungle stuff, so I can't really tell you guys how good the jungling is or like how all that kind of works out. If you've played a MOBA before, honestly, you're, you'll know exactly how it feels. Um, one other thing I actually do like about the game, which is really useful, is by everyone's names you'll see this star system. What that is, is it's telling you how strong their items are. The higher up your item star is, the better your equipment you have. So you can kind of guess based off of what the star um, ranking that the person you're going up against has on how strong they are. So. For example, you may have two people level 15 and one might have like a level, I don't know, 13 star rating, but someone else has like a level, you know, 18. I don't know. Something along those lines. And I was absolutely wrecked. To be honest, I was trying to run up there and use my ultimate to finish off two of them, but 
that wasn't really going to be the case. So, if I were to compare this game to any MOBA kind of out there in terms of like PC MOBAs, you know, you've got Mobile Legends, which I personally think really is kind of a clone of League of Legends, but I think of it as a good way. I'd say this is kind of more akin to like Dota 2, where it's a little bit more complicated than Mobile Legends, but it's still a great uh, streamlined game for the phone. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to head back down to my bottom lane, kind of show you guys what the jungle looks like. Now, compared to other MOBAs that I've played on the phone, the jungle minions, there's actually a lot more. You can see there's about three right there, three we walked past, and then the bigger one at about uh, that only had one set up right there. So keep an eye on those as well. We're just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of this match and just have, just try to have fun playing it and see if we can't, you know, possibly win this match against our enemies. Now, I, I know they're pushing really heavily in mid, but I'm hoping that we can push enough on this right tower that we can actually take the tower. I don't think we're going to take this tower. Oh, I should back up. Another thing too is that like, because there's no bushes over in this area, I can't really just hide and wait for the minions to spawn again. I think it's definitely gonna take some uh, veteran MOBA players a little bit to get used to the fact that there's no, there's no bushes in this game, so. But other than that, they're like, besides the minor inconveniences that I find in this game, they add a lot of conveniences that I think are really great for phone MOBAs. Something that I really, really appreciate, such as the teleporting, uh, giving yourself those observers. So if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and pop one right there and keep an eye on, see if any enemies are coming down on the bottom right lane. Things like that, these little convenience items. Ooh, and I missed. We might be able to take this guy, the two of us. He's got... Let's see, what is his item rating? He's a seven. I'm at an eight, so I have a little bit better item rating than he does. Getting pretty good damage. This penguin guy does a lot. Oh, you know what? In fact, I, I still haven't grabbed my passive, which is something I, I need to grab if I want to try to do my best in this game. So the next time I level up, I'm going to make sure I grab that passive, which is really bad that I haven't grabbed it yet. That could be the difference between life and death. Actually, this guy's gonna die. There we go, I got the kill. My teammate actually teleported out there probably to help our base. Oh snap, I'm actually really low on health and I'm low on mana. So I'm gonna run out, run back. Maybe if I can go in here. It's hard because there's there's nowhere I can just hide and hope that the, the enemy sees me, doesn't see me. Cause he could have come around the corner right there and, and probably taken me out, so. Enemy tower shield is down, use a chance to attack them. So let's go ahead and push. Now I don't know all the little ins and outs, how strong certain characters are and things like that. In fact, what the heck is my teammate doing? That guy's leveled. Oh shoot, I see, I forgot to grab that passive. I'm just used to my passive automatically leveling up. So I don't know what my teammate's doing. Let's kind of push him back. We've got, you know what, the enemy team is probably going to overtake us because they've got a lot more power levels than we do. We've got one guy that's level 10. In fact, I can just throw down an observer right here, open up that uh, fog of war. Super, super helpful. There we go, we got a kill, or we got an assist at least. We could probably, I, I don't think we can take this tower. That guy is way stronger than we are. And in fact, I died right there. I didn't. I had no mana at all, and I should have. And if I did, I would have been able to use my slide ability to actually get out of there. Now to give you guys a perspective on how important this passive is, let's go ahead and read it. Penguin charges his laser can every five seconds. Once charged, next attack becomes AOE, launching laser beam that deals bonus physical damage to enemies and slows 30% movement speed for three seconds. That is something I wish I would have had. It would have been able to help me clear minion waves a lot better early game. Something I should have grabbed second. I sh you know, because I like to grab 
at least one of the abilities, and then I should have grabbed the passive next. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose it. Holy crap, how is that already so flipping low? How did they get that so low? I don't, I'm not even sure. That is that is ridiculous. <laughs> I think we've got bots on our team. I think that panda is a bot. Ooh, crap. Nope. And I was going to die. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose here. It's a 14 uh, versus 24, 10 minutes into the game. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about before the, the game finishes right here is the UI setup, I think is really, really good. Like, I feel like there's some MOBAs that I play on the mobile, on my phone, that because it has a smaller screen real estate, because they shrink down, it causes there to be a lot of, like, clutter on the screen. Now, this game has maybe a few more buttons, you know, because of the teleport, observe, you know, throwing down a ward and all that stuff, uh, that makes it, that like, it could be more you know cluttered on your screen but because of the way they have it all set up i think it looks really great and it looks absolutely fantastic on this larger screen so if you're looking for a moba specifically if you have like a if you have oh my gosh we are getting wrecked and we're and we lost right there if you're looking for a moba and you've got a bigger screen i highly recommend this one especially if you got kind of a weird aspect ratio just like i do for this Guys, even though I lost this match, I actually really do enjoy this game a lot, and it's definitely a really great MOBA. If you guys are looking for a different MOBA besides Mobile Legends, and you can't get into Arena of Valor just yet, then maybe go ahead and download this game. I actually really enjoy it. I like the fact that you do have to kind of keep an eye on that passive ability, but like I said before, there's a couple things I don't particularly like. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video though, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more online gaming videos. Okay guys, I'll see ya.